Good evening. I'm Alicia Richards. And I'm Dennis Owens. Thanks so much for joining us. Senator John Fetterman back in the hospital tonight. Yeah, Sarah Wilson here with our top story. Sarah. Alicia Dennis, the senator's office says Fetterman checked himself into Walter Reed National Military Medical Center last night. In a statement, his chief of staff, Adam Gentleson, says that while Fetterman has experienced depression over the course of his life, it became severe in the past few weeks. The statement goes on to say that the congressional attending physician recommended Fetterman get inpatient care at Walter Reed. Fetterman agreed. Gentleson finishes by saying that Fetterman Meeting. is getting the care that he needs and, quote, so. will soon be back to himself. Fetterman's really fellow angry. Senator Bob Casey says he is proud Being of him for getting for the help he needs here. and breaking mental health very, stigmas. Very we critical. spoke to one mental health professional who echoed those thoughts. Some of the stigmas that are associated with individuals that have mental health disorders is what deters them from seeking treatment. We're having a conversation about this normalizes it. It destigmatizes the conversation about mental health disorders. Fetterman's wife Giselle tweeted that she's proud of her husband for getting help, asked for privacy on behalf of their family, and said, quote, take care of yourselves, hold your loved ones close, you are not alone. This is the second time Fetterman has been admitted to a hospital in just over a week. Last Wednesday, his office says the senator felt lightheaded during a retreat and remained hospitalized until Friday afternoon. His office said Fetterman's doctors did rule out a second stroke. You'll recall he suffered a massive stroke last May while campaigning for the Senate race. It is one Fetterman later admitted nearly killed him. In the studio, Sarah Wilson, ABC 27 News. Alicia, back to you. 